Chapter 64 Blaming In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. Whatever is in the heavens and whatever is on the earth glorifies Allah. His is the dominion, and to Him belong all praises and thanks, and He is able to do all things. It is He who created you, and some of you are disbelievers, and some of you are believers, and Allah is all-seer of what you do. He has created the heavens and the earth with truth, and He shaped you and made your shapes goodly, and to Him is the final return. He knows what is in the heavens and on earth, and He knows what you conceal and what you reveal. And Allah is the all-knower of what is in the hearts of men. Has the news not reached you of those who disbelieved before? And so they tasted the evil result of their disbelief, and theirs will be a painful torment. That was because there came to them their messengers with clear proofs, but they said, Shall mere men guide us? So they disbelieved, and turned away from the truth, and Allah was not in need of them. For Allah is rich, free of all wants, worthy of all praise. The disbelievers pretend that they will never be resurrected for account. Say, O Muhammad, Yes, by my Lord, you will certainly be resurrected. Then you will be informed of and recompensed for what you did, and that is easy for Allah. Therefore, believe in Allah and His Messenger, and in the light which we have sent down, and Allah is all aware of what you do. And remember the day when He will gather you all on the day of gathering, that will be the day of mutual loss and gain. And whoever believes in Allah and performs righteous good deeds, he will remit from him his sins, and will admit him to gardens under which rivers flow to dwell there forever. That will be the supreme success. But those who disbelieved and denied our proofs, signs, and revelations, they will be the dwellers of the fire to dwell there forever and worst indeed is that destination. No calamity can occur except with the leave of Allah, and whoever believes in Allah, he guides his heart to the true faith with certainty, and Allah is the all-knower of everything. Obey Allah, and obey his messenger, but if you turn away, then the duty of our messenger is only to convey the message clearly. Allah None has the right to be worshipped but he. And in Allah, therefore, let the believers put their trust. O you who believe, surely among your wives and your children there are enemies for you, therefore beware of them. But if you pardon them and overlook and forgive their faults, then surely Allah is oft forgiving, most merciful. Your wealth and your children are only a trial, but Allah with him is a great reward. So keep your duty to Allah and fear Him as much as you can. Listen and obey and spend in charity. That is better for you. And whoever is saved from his own greed, then they are the successful ones. If you lend to Allah a goodly loan, He will double it for you and will forgive you. And Allah is most ready to appreciate and to reward, the most forbearing all-knower of the unseen and seen, the Almighty, the All-Wise. Please subscribe to our channel. Kindly like, share and comment on our videos. If anyone benefits because of your like and share, then God may provide you with unlimited reward which is called Sadaqat al Jariyah in Islam. Sadaqat al Jariyah is continuous rewards received for good actions, deeds and spreading knowledge. It is a gift that not only benefits us in this life, but also benefits us and our loved ones in the hereafter, according to the hadith of the Prophet, peace be upon him, narrated by Muslim. When a person dies, all the deeds end except three. A continuing charity, beneficial knowledge, and a child who prays for them.